Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews for week 04 2017. There were two scheduled launches and the first one is H2A for Japan. It will lift off on Tuesday morning at 0744 UTC from the Tanigashima Space Center. The rocket has a main core stage filled with liquid hydrogen and oxygen and at least two solid strap-on boosters which help the efficient but relatively low thrust main engine to get off the ground. The engine is built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and pushes the rocket up with a force of round about 1000 kN, which is similar to a single Merlin engine of the Falcon and rocket. However, it has a specific impulse of 446 seconds and is therefore 40% more efficient. On top is the upper stage which burns the same fuel and carries the DSN2 satellite. After liftoff, the rocket will head east to shoot its payload on a geosynchronous transfer orbit. DSN2 is a military communication satellite and as such details are kept secret. At least I couldn't find anything specific but if you know more feel free to let us know in the comments. Having separated the solid boosters and shortly after the first stage, the upper one will go on for 10 more minutes before payload separation. The second launch this week is a Soyuz by Ariane Space. The rocket will take off from the Guiana Space Center on Friday night at 1.03 UTC. Board from Russia, the rocket is practically the same with one core and four side mounted boosters, all fueled with liquid kerosene and oxygen. On top are the second and third stage which carries the payload Hispasat 36W1. Similar to H2A, the rocket will fly east and head for a not so different geosynchronous transfer orbit. This means Hispasat is also a communication satellite which will hover relatively stationary over a certain area on the ground. This is because the final orbit will have an orbital period, the time it takes to make one revolution around Earth, which is equal to the Earth's rotation. A little side fact, this will be the first GTO launch for Ariane Space's Soyuz rocket. As the name suggests, Hispasat will be launched for the Spanish telecommunication company Hispasat, which also released a nice video explaining the satellite itself. The video is actually very well done and I can highly recommend to watch it if you are interested to know more about it. You can find the link to that in the description. Interesting for me is also the fact that the satellite was built in Bremen, Germany by the company OHB System AG. It is based on their all new small geo satellite platform which was developed in cooperation with ESA. The company also works on next generation satellite technology which for example uses ultra lightweight antennas made out of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Once the fregat upper stage has completed its 80 minute long burn, it will enter into its ballistic phase and separate Hispaset, which will go on with its mission to circleize its orbit over the course of several weeks. Now in the end a quick shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Dankeschön and if you want to contribute as well, simply follow the link in the description. This week's German lesson is inspired by the freezing temperatures in Germany right now. Nachts ist es kälter als draußen. The literal translation would be, at night it is colder than outside, which makes no sense. Well, the German version makes no sense either, but is still used to point out somebody is talking nonsense. It is typically initiated by a yo, yo, und nachts ist es kälter als draußen. Okay, that shall conclude episode 72 and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.